Hi, so I'm going to demonstrate here the publishing of an extract data source up to the Tableau server here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on my data source and I'm going to switch it over from a live to extract and I'm going to click update here and I'm going to click edit and everything looks fine. I'm going to go back to my worksheet and what I'm going to do here is I will go to server, sign in, and I'm going to click connect. Normally you can type in HTTP or HTTPS and click connect. I'm going to sign in with your credentials to the server, Tableau server you're going to publish. I'm going to click on the site that I want to publish to. Now I do want to mention that I have a Tableau data source here and the graph here is based on the order date. So if I go into the database, I want to show you some of the data here. Now the data here starts at 2013. What I'm going to do is I will be adding 10 years here after I've published to demonstrate the extract stale data that appears when this data source is actually an extract. Now, the this is stale data a little bit because it is the 2016 data, so I am gonna publish this up there. I am gonna publish the workbook. And notice when I choose extract, it will allow me to select the schedule. I'm gonna change the name here to extract and it's going to allow me to choose a schedule. I am going to choose the every 15 minutes and the data source. I'm going to allow for refresh access and I'm going to click publish and it's going to publish the view and the workbook and you'll notice the workbook name is extract data source. I'm going to click OK I'm going to click on my view. So this is what is up on the data source here. And you'll see it starts at 2016, 2017, 2018. And in contrast, this is one. Of, let me bring up one of the live data sources that I have. So if I have this live data source, You'll notice it brings up the correct non-extract data that is currently in the database. So if you notice in my select that the order date actually starts at 2013. Whereas this extract is a stale copy and it starts at 2016. Now I am going to go ahead and add 10 years to the order date right into the database. And you'll notice now it starts at 2023. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to show you the live data source first by hitting refresh. And you'll notice now it starts at 2023 all the way up to 2026. However, in my extract workbook, when I hit, hit refresh here, it stays at 2016. Now I am going to keep in mind that my data source here is scheduled against the 15 minutes, the every 15 minutes here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to run the extract schedule now. And I'm going to choose status here and look at the status. And it'll take probably a couple of minutes, probably two or three minutes here. You'll see it's in process here for the extract. And if I hit refresh, let's see if it's done. So you notice that on this dashboard here, it shows me the statuses of all past, all of the past uh, schedules that have run and this is successful so I'm going to go back to content here and I'm going to click on my extract data source 
and you'll notice now because the extract was updated it is the same as the live and it's no longer stale copy or it's a uh, stale for 15 minutes and then it updates every 15 minutes which is the schedule of the extract so there you go that is a demo of the publishing of an extract uh, data source in comparison to a live and I hope this helped and uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching